Well, hello everybody. I'm going to be working on an Android Studio project. I'm going to create another calculator in my one of my series. I'm doing a uh, wind chill calculator, and I'd like to show you just another one. We're going to make a body mass index calculator. So we're going to start a new project, and I want to show you this um, just another way of doing a, an Android app. So I'm going to go ahead and give the application name, use, the, use what I have set for my company domain, and I'm just going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to make it a phone and tablet. We're going to set it to Jelly Bean as being minimum SDK, and we're going to go ahead and create an em or, sorry, a blank activity, and we're just going to leave it the default name, main activity, and proceed. So that's going to open it up, and then we're going to start working on it. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to go a little bit faster than my other one and just really put this together. Part of it is actually for my students, uh, also to give another opportunity of showing how we do Android Studio projects in a slightly different context. So we are working on this relative layout. Everything is still sort of loading, as you see, because the, the phone over here doesn't quite look right. Uh, but we're going to focus on content main. We have a relative layout inside. We're going to create a linear layout. Linear layout is allows us to uh, basically li line up everything uh, from top to bottom or left to right, depending on the orientation. Layout width, we are going to match the parent. And then on the height, we are going to do what's called wrap content. Um, actually, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and match the parent like so. I'm going to hit enter. This linear layout, click on it, we see the whole thing is highlighted. You also notice there's a little bit of margin around the sides. So from top to bottom, we're going to create some uh, create some text views. And in this case, it's going to width will match the parent, but we're going to wrap the content on the height. Every element you create should have an ID. Yeah, ID equals, and we're going to do the uh, this right here. And we're going to go ahead and call this text um, welcome, like so. And then we're going to add some uh, text to that. And in this case, we're going to use the string variable and use the same title, like so. Doesn't like it, that's because we don't have it set in our strings. Now, of course, the easy way to do this is to click on here and we can create a string value resource. The resource value is going to be what we're going to call it. So it's the uh, welcome to the BMI calculator. Click OK. Notice it says right here the text. If I open up strings, it's in the res folder under values. And you will see strings.xml. We'll double click right here. There it is string name, text welcome. So we can go in here and change that later if we want to change it. It's kind of nice that we can either you know type it in ourselves or we can let Android Studio do it for us. I let Android Studio do it for me. Uh, I don't like the size of that text, so I'm also going to change the size. Uh, I think it's text size. Now in text size, we want to set it as um, SP. SP is the, the predominant way to do it. 24, let's try 26. Um, okay, sort of a text welcome. Yeah, it's the welcome text. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another text wel uh, text view. And um, also this is going to match the parent, but wrap the content. This text view is going to have instructions. So we're going to go ahead and create an ID. And notice how I'm just tabbing through all this stuff. And uh, so that's text instructions. I like to give everything I, an ID and uh, then program if we need to. Oh, wrong one. I meant to do text. Doesn't like it. I'm going to try Alt, Enter. Create string value resource and right. and 
tabbed out the instructions. There they are. It's not displaying. Let's look at strings. There it is. Why don't we see it? Need to set the size. Linear layout. Oh, it doesn't like this. What doesn't it like? Oh, orientation. Ha ha ha. Yeah, thank you. Orientation is, uh, we want to make this a vertical orientation. Uh, I forgot about that in linear layout. Uh, the default orientation is from left to right. So to override that and make it top to bottom, we make it vertical. And basically the idea of the linear layout is we're trying to line, line them up top to bottom. Uh, we're going to add some text size on here. This time we're going to choose 20 SP. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's add a top margin. Margin top. Now, in, when we're doing anything that's not text size, we want to use DP. So we'll try 15 DP. That pushes that text down a little bit. We're good to go. Now we're going to, inside of our linear lay layout, inside of here, we're going to create two inputs. And we're going to use the linear layout to do that. No, I didn't want to do it that way. I want to match the parent. And wrap the content. And this time the orientation is going to be left to right. Now we're going to do something new. We're going to do edit text. Edit text will be a little input box the user can type in to get their information. So in this case, we are going to wrap the content in both of these because we want it only as wide as it needs to be. And uh, let's go ahead and set some ID. Edit uh, feet. Uh, we already did ID text. Oh, uh, we're not going to do text. Instead, we're going to do hint. A hint will put a little hint in the box, but once you click and start entering, the hint goes away. Uh, so on here, we're going to use at string again. And now notice the naming conventions. I like to do two words uh, separated by underscores. And so that's edit feet, alt enter. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I'm trying to see if I can just do this and, and uh, create value string. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I'm going to do something different. EMS equals five. Uh, EMS is like a relative sizing here. It's usually, I believe, the, the, the length of each character. So if I had done an EMS of one, it's only wide enough to fit one character. Two allows us to, well, it looks like it's more than that. So it's somewhere along those lines. EMS. All right, uh, we got the hint, we got the layout. Is there anything else I am missing? Let me double check. Well, I think we got it. We'll just keep going. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to copy and paste. And we're going to change it. Edit inches. Edit. Well, I'll just copy that. There we go. Doesn't like it. Alt enter. Oh. There it is. There we go. Let's do a little left hand margin. Five DP. That's what I get done. A little bit out, like so. Oh wait, we want to set this outside of the linear layout.
Okay, finally we're going to add results on here. It's going to be another text view. Actually, I need to do that. Ah! I'm going to do a uh, match card. Okay, at the end we got our results. Let's change the text size to match what we had before. Um, text size, and I think we're going to do 20 uh, SV. So at this point, we, it looks like we've got all of our items in here. What we may want to do is break this up just a little bit more. Let me do that real quick. We're going to change the text just a little bit on here. We're going to go back to the strings and your uh, height and weight, uh, height and feet and inches. And then I'm going to cut that out. We're actually going to create a string. And uh, instead of text instructions, I think I'm going to call this text um, uh, height and then text for weight. And uh, I'll put as a number as well. Um, like so. I'm going to go back here. Now I'm going to have to change the name of that. Um, instead of instructions, we put a string slash, and it should actually just show up what we got. Well, maybe not. Text um, height, like so. And I'm going to change this as well, like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a text view after that linear layout. I'm going to add it right here. Text view. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to match parent wrap content ID, add ID. And then this is going to be text, uh, what did I say, text, uh, wait. And then we're going to do the same thing for string. Hint equals at string um, text, wait. Ah, there it is. See, now it displays correctly. Android, and that's going to be, ah, I didn't mean to do text. I meant to do text size. And that one is, what was our size, 20 SP like so, and let's add a little bit of a top margin. Now look at that, layout margin top, bam, just get it right off the bat. 10 dp, or did I do 15 dp? I think I did 15 dp, so we'll change that. Okay, so there we go. Now we have all that. Um, on the next text layout that has the pounds or the weight, that is over here. Let's add margin top also. Uh, 15 dp. That drops that down. The button probably should have one as well. Um, you can even center this, right? 
or we could put the uh, text view and the edit uh, side by side. Just depends on how you want to do that. Uh, I think the oh, that's what it was. This looks weird because it's it's so short. It's not as wide as the rest. So we'll just add that real quick. The EMS six there, a little bit better. Button. Let's add a little margin top. Fifteen DP. Do the same thing here. Ah, I had it right there, ready to go. Okay, in this part of the video, it looks like we're pretty much done creating our user interface. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about programming it. Stay tuned.